Hello everybody and welcome to my 7th Microsoft Access Queries tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to teach you how to use the build tool. Um, so the build tool is is very useful um, and I use it all the time. Um, and it essentially just allows you to write your own expressions uh, within, your, within your field names, giving you access to a lot more uh, more potential than just using the totals uh, and selecting the fields. Um, so to start off with, I've just opened up a new query in my uh, customers database, uh, and I've got one table with customer ID, item number, quantity, date, and employee number, um, and then that's linking into the customers table with customer ID, city, and customer name. Um, gonna, so I'm going to show you both how to use the build tool overall and then I, and give you a couple of examples. Um, so to start off with I'm just going to drop customer name into my first field um, and I'm going to turn totals on by just right clicking and selecting totals. Um, put customer name as group by um, and then uh, in this one we're going to use the build tool. So in order to build a query in here um, you can just type it but uh, Microsoft Access has a built-in tool called Build. So if you right-click and only right-click on the top one and select Build, and then the expression builder comes up. Um, you can then go through and select all of your the functions that you want to use. Um, to start off with, though, in an expression, um, you always need to put the name of the expression. Um, so what I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in an abbreviation for the city. Um, so I'm going to put in just the first three letters of a city. Um, so let's call this uh, city underscore abbreviation and then put a colon. Um, so the colon is just separating the name of your field f t from the expression for the field. Now you can use all of your things down here then to build your expression. Um, so I want to look for uh, a function. So all of your functions are in this function function section. Double click on that um, and then built in functions and then you'll see that a list of all your functions pops up on the side over here. Um, so the easiest way for you to to use these is just to, to go through and, and, and look at them yourself. Um, if you get stuck on them, look in the help, look on Google, um, but generally whatever whatever you want to be able to do will be within this, um, will be within these functions. So they're nicely categorized, um, so you've got date and time functions, um, you've got uh, maths functions such as round, and square roots and the trigonomic functions. Um, you've got if statements, um, which I'll come on to, uh, and you've also got uh, text formatting functions, um, such as format, so you can put it in a specific format. Um, so the one I'm going to use is left, um, and as you can see it comes up with the uh, expression bit at the front, so delete that because we've already put our expression name there, and then we need a string expression. Um, on the left hand side in the, and that's going to be the field that we want to uh, cut off from the left so we want the city name so if we go into tables and we go into customers and we go to city and then notice how it's written it here you've got the the name of the table in square brackets followed by an exclamation mark followed by the name of the field in square brackets. So we can actually just write this ourselves. We don't need to um, look at the click, go into the tables and click on it. We can just write um, with square brackets customers, close bracket, exclamation mark, open bracket, city, close bracket. We can just type that in ourselves. We don't need to use the expression builder down here. Similarly, um, we could just type it all out ourselves and write the left. Um, but I find it a lot easier uh, to start off with um, to use the the built-in functions um, and, and add them in that way um, just so you know that you've got the right function in there and that what you're using is actually existent. Um, 
N then is the number of characters to take off of the uh, left hand side so we want the first three characters and then we click OK um, and then we should be able to just run our query now and as you can see we've got the first three letters of each country pulling through um, so this can be useful if you, if you want to then convert them and put them on the top of a table for table names and, and such like um, or if you just want to be able to easily recognize them by by the abbreviations um, the next thing I'm going to show you is is a, is a one that includes a sum so let's just go back into our build um, what I'm going to do is show you how to do the square root um, of the sum of the quantity um, and so first of all I'm just going to show you how to do a sum so you already knew, know how to do a sum using the totals uh, but you can also um, simply put a sum in here by writing sum open bracket and then the field that you want to do so I want to do sales not close bracket exclamation mark open square bracket quantity close square bracket and then close off that bracket so this isn't going to square root it at the moment this is just going to um, this is just going to do the sum of the quantity for us so let's run this and it's going to come up with an error message um, so when you've used a sum um, it's, it's known as a aggregate SQL uh, function. So if we go into our functions here um, and we go down to an SQL aggregate, so all of these you can't use in congregation with the group by total. So if it comes up with this message, cannot have aggregate function in group by clause, um, all you do is click on group by and change it to expression. Because you don't want to group by this, you want to do a sum. Um, so then when we run this, and then you'll notice that that's all summed up so we've got the total of all the quantities for each customer um, which would be the same really as just putting in quantity and then sum if we run this then they should just both be the same as you can see um, but the advantage of this is now we can go into here um, and we can change this so let's do sum um, of uh, and let's put in another function maths function so let's put in the square root now um, so again get rid of the square root um, and then our actual number um, that we want to put in is what we put around sum so let's just go like that um, so let's just check so we've got square root of the sum of sales uh, exclamation mark quantity click OK click out of here and then now we've got the customer name, we've got the the total quantity of how much they've purchased, and then also the square root of how much they've purchased. Um, you can do this the other way around. So if we go back into here, go into the build. So if we take the square root out and put it in the middle. So this is going to square root all of the quantities and then sum them up. Um, let's just copy it and so we can see them both at the same time uh, piece so this one's sum of square root so let's change that to sum underscore square root and then this one we'll do as square root sum so let's take this back out over here and put that one back in the middle and then when we run this you can see there's a slight difference in all of them um, some of them very similar but um, because there's only one or uh, but for those that have quite a few you can see that if you're square rooting the sum of all of them um, then it's generally a lot smaller than squaring rooting each of them individually and then adding all of them together. Um, so that's how you use the build function. Um, just to recap, always click in the field, right click and then build um, and then just put in the name of your uh, 
field and then a colon and then whatever functions you want to use in here. Um, so thanks for listening to this tutorial. Uh, I hope to catch you in the next tutorial uh, when I show you how to use the if statements within your builds.